Hi, boys. This is part two. I'll see if I can get this done. So we're reading from the Gospel of Luke. During the, this is after Mary finds she's pregnant and she goes to visit Elizabeth, who her cousin, who's also pregnant and really old. So that was. During those days, Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy, filled with the Holy Spirit, so Elizabeth given a super insight from God, something that she wouldn't have been able to ask to understand as a human. She receives this. She cries out in a loud voice and says, "Most blessed are you among women." And blessed is the fruit of your womb. Most blessed are you among women. So Mary is the most blessed, most blessed of you among women. And how, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. And how does this happen to me, sorry, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment of the sound of your greeting, Reach my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. So Elizabeth cries out with the Holy Spirit, allowing her to understand. And she says what she understands given to her in revelation from the Holy Spirit. Most blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. The blessed the fruit of your womb is Jesus. And how does this happen to me that the mother of my Lord, my Lord means God, so because that's the only thing that would make sense. The mother of my Lord means, she's saying, how is it that the mother of my Lord, who is God, is here? Mary, the mother of my Lord, is the mother of Jesus. Jesus is human, and Jesus is 100% human, and Jesus is 100% God. So Jesus is God, so Mary is the mother of God.